Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? It's really great to be with you here on this beautiful Wednesday morning, the second day of September. Uh, I was outside this morning taking a little walk. It's a beautiful 74 degrees, but the humidity is really high. So uh, although we're in September, we haven't got that first little bit of cool weather yet, but we're looking forward to it here here in coastal Virginia. So I thank you. I thank you all very much for being here. Um, I hope that I have something to offer you today that gives you some peace and raises up your consciousness, increases your vibration, and as a result, brings you closer to joy. That highest of consciousness here on this three-dimensional plane, just pure joy. So this morning, I'd like to start off with a bit of Western scripture coming from the uh, Holy Bible. And the scripture comes from um, Mark. And it is, anything you pray for and ask, believe that you will receive it, and it will be done for you. Here we are, we're, we're many of us, people who are here with me this morning um, are really looking at the fact that we're transitioning into a higher state of consciousness here in the Aquarian age, and that we are moving into a dimension that gives us a higher sense of our divine presence. We've come to realize that that which empowers this body, that which moves and motivates this body as in fact that presence of God, that divine consciousness, that Christed spirit, um, what traditional Christians like to refer to as Jesus within. And we know that as we move into a higher vibration, we become more and more and more aware that everything visible everything audible, all that we can sense, taste, touch, and feel, all comes from that primary source of energy, what we like to call God here in the West. And so I wanna share some ideas with you um, to give you today, to leave you with, so that you can consider them for yourselves. And the ideas go like this. Drop all your habitual thoughts and thoughts that you are not going to make it. You are already here. If you have chosen love, if you have intended to expand or ascend, then you have ascended, then you have expanded. It is just a simple matter of opening your eyes to go with the opening of your heart of remembering. Looking at someone else's journey is fine, but remember your journey is your journey. It is not you. It is not unique. Hold on a minute. I misread that. Looking at someone else's journey is fine, but remember your journey is your journey. It is you. It is unique. There is the law of your own ascension, a simple unfolding and emergence of that which you are. From the chrysalis of your solidification, has emerged the most gorgeous butterfly, you, whose wings are unfolding and drying. The full beauty is on the verge of becoming fully visible to you and to all creation. Be patient and loving and trusting with your own process. And sweet brothers and sisters, do not give way to doubting yourself 
or your own unique unfolding. We are in the stage of the chrysalis. Do you feel like mush sometimes? Of course, because if you were to cut open a chrysalis, which is the shell that a butterfly comes out of, all you would see is like a gene or cellular soup. But a magnificent reintegration is taking place and look at what will emerge. How could you conceive of the beauty of a butterfly from the amorphous soup? And perhaps when you are at rest, you call in closer your company from heaven and imagine yourself as in the cocoon, totally infused in golden light. Let your divine nature take its course. Get out of the way. Allow the law of your own ascension to unfold. Get on with what is in front of you and allow the divine to go and allow the divine to do all the heavy lifting. As humans, we have been taught over a thousand years to distrust and look down on human nature. And now, as each and every one is being emptied of these unkind lies, there is the feeling of being cut adrift with nowhere to go. But the divine blueprint is coming back online. It has come back online. It is online. I am it. You are it. The whole consciousness shift is about you as compassionate human beings. Are you remembering? I so love you. And that comes from Nikki Hamid. I am the presence of divine consciousness. You are the presence of divine consciousness. You are that which you desire. Yet you're encased in an uncomfortable shell that for lack of a better description is prickly and sticky and fearful and judgmental about what's going on all is well wellness is about us in every way and in every shape so i invite you to simply be in quiet i invite you to find a place where you can become still and then practice stillness and one of the most simple practices that I employ is to breathe. And so let's breathe together for just a couple of minutes and then we'll move forward. And so breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Four counts in, four counts hold, four counts out. Let's begin. In. Hold out. In hold 
cow. In hold out. And now on your own. If you're short of breath, do it on three counts or on two counts. When I first began this practice, I didn't feel ease immediately. I had to practice for a few times before the ease settled over me. And so in Hold out. In hold out. So let's come back to our bodies. Let's be present. And let me guide us out for today with one of my favorite songs. I am the light of God. I am the love of God. I am the power of God. I am the presence of God. Wherever I am, God is. You are the light of God. You are the love of God. You are the power of God. You are the presence of God. Wherever you are, God is. We are the light of God. We are the love of God. We are the power of God. We are the presence of God. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. Thank you for being here with me today. I salute you as the presence of God. Namaste. 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 See you tomorrow. <laughs>